dear giant Jungus, we will never forget you and all zero things that you did for us. Anyways, hello and welcome back. I am LP and today I am LPing Earthbound. Again, last episode, like I said, we met this giant dungeon man. We explored the inside of his body. He came with us down here and then stopped. Uh, don't know what that means, but this time, this episode, we're going to figure that out. Not gonna go that way. That peninsula is infested with a single demon and nothing else. Look at this, we've got a local. The scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. You wanna cross the river even though you know it's a stupid idea? Yes. Yes, I do. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, it's got no booty. You'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. Well, I'd very much like a submarine. Can I have a submarine? <laughs> I saw a submarine inside of my dungeon man there. Whoa, let's, uh, well, let's get assaulted first, and then maybe we can go back and, and talk to the, uh, the dungeon man about a submarine. It was on the second floor. Or, well, I don't know, technically it was like on the third floor, but like the second floor of the third floor, right? Like there's uh, ramps and stuff and ways to get up to raised areas. It was up there. There was also like a car <laughs> and a capsule and a phone booth and all a few other things. But I'm not certain that that's exactly what we need. We'll find out soon, right? We'll find out momentarily. I just hope that it is. Uh, I also hope that we don't get freaking killed before we can get over there. Thankfully, we do have life noodles. So if that's the case, then we'll be able to rectify that situation. It just would not exactly be ideal. Uh, LP, more eggs, please, more eggs. Pongo bash, Farku bash. And we'll see what that does for us. Does that kill the octopi? It doesn't kill the octopi. Hopefully the eggs will. We corrode its metallic shell. Uh, we got rid of the... the we got rid of both of them! Okay, perfect, excellent, great. This has been truly as God intended. <laughs> Bongo leveled up, excellent. I uh, didn't get anything necessarily exciting out of that, but it's fine. Uh, I'll talk to you one more time. One more time. Uh, what if we say no? No, okay, so goodness me. Goodness me, no, get get out of here. No, 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 no. I'm gonna run out of eggs here, Poopy. You get the big eggs and the big fire. I'm just, yeah, I want you guys to go away. Just to get out of here. Is that enough? It's not enough. Oh, gosh, my bear. Not my bear. <laughs> my bear's been with me for like 15 minutes. You need to respect that and let it live. Looks like our super high powered PSI attacks were more than enough. I uh, did probably a huge waste of PP, but whatever. I'm just, I just wanna get over here. Talk to this guy. The submarine? I believe, I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. Perfect. I would love to enter you once again, old friend, because you have the benches that I want to sit on so that I can heal myself here. Excellent. Uh, now, I, I do vaguely recall where this submarine is. I mean, it... It's not like it was very long ago. <laughs> it was just last episode that we saw it, and in real time, it was just like a few minutes ago. And so I'm recording these kind of in a batch. And I think it was this way. Uh, and we go around. If I, no, I'm already wrong, aren't I? I have to go down. Whatever. Uh, maybe I'll see you when I, when I get there, or maybe this will work out in a way that I can just keep commentating and we'll get there together. Well, I don't know. Uh, that, that, that's a decision that's going to have to be made by someone else, a.k.a. future LP. What do we have up here? Presence. Yeah, see, it's to the left over there. You see him? How do we get over there? There's no ramps or anything over on this side, is there? Gotta follow this. How do I get up here? More presence. Great, of course, naturally. Just die. Can you just die? No, you want to live. You want to live. Well, I'm I'm sorry, but I cannot condone this. You've got to uh, to perish. <laughs> Mystical record. Good night, sweet prince. And we'll get this one too. Maybe. I guess not. Okay, it's stuck up there. Uh, how do we get up there? Oh, giblets. Maybe we've got to go. Why are there so many presents? It's amazing. 
Okay, so I'm at a loss. I came all the way up here to speak to the man's face. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon that can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. We'll take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. Okay. So, now we can go through the secret hole. I see. We have deemed courageous enough, or been deemed rather courageous enough, to take it. And we'll just fall through? Continually? Okay, here we are. Beautiful, and there's a present over here. There is a talisman ribbon. Oh, that sounds like something I'd very much like to uh, have in my my pockets here. Uh, what can I get rid of? Got the talisman ribbon. We got rid of a thing. It's fine. Let's see what this ribbon does for us. Miscellaneous equipment that can only be used by Pongo. Uh, increases luck. Okay, so... It's not flashing. Is it, is it gonna be good for... I thought, other way, I thought it was other. My off here. Pongo. Other. Okay, yeah, so defense will go up by 10. Perfect. And it increases luck. So this is all together great. What else is great is the fact that we finally found our way here, even after pining after these vehicles for no uncertain amount of time from down below. We have reached it, and we also have an opportunity to save. So maybe we should do that. <laughs> Typically, you know, a game gives you an opportunity to save, and that's just not even speaking about Earthbound or Mother in its entirety. You should consider saving at any point in any game when it gives you the opportunity, right? Like, it just makes sense to be proactive. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself and end up freaking dying and uh, having all your hard work wiped out. It's also true in real life. You don't want to die, so, you know. Save, save your game. I set up a telephone line in the dungeon. I wonder if that's controversial. It is. Old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. I see. Well, excuse me, presents. I want this one. Farku check the broken submarine. Yes, it can still work. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Yellow. Yep. Oh, we can move. Wait, no, it's going up autonomously. Never mind. <laughs> I was briefly excited for a second. I mean, it's still exciting, right? Even though we look like a freaking monkey wrench or whatever. <laughs> we look like a, a ratchet sailing through the sea. It's beautiful. And now it's just us on a purple background. Are we moving? I have no reference point to judge that on. Oh, oh, the sea is blue. What does that mean? Probably better to drink now. We're going to the, to the land of darkness and it's green and we probably will make good use of our Hawkeye here that we acquired a couple episodes back that allows us uh, the ability to see in the dark. Look at this. What are you? This is a phone bird. Well, hey, let's save again. I just mentioned it like 30 seconds ago. Game gives you an opportunity to save. You should probably jump all over that, man. Especially when you get to someplace like this, right? Like we're in a new area entirely. No, 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 I'm, I'm talking to this plant, okay? Thanks. What about this monkey? The monkeys are on the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Wanna spend the night? Sure. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't even know if I'm missing any health or uh, PP, but might as well top it off, dude. Just in case. Don't you think it was comfortable? Take care and goodbye. Thank you kindly. Oh, my giblets, we are. Waiting, I didn't bring my high waters though. <laughs> I didn't bring a change of pants. My underwear is already soaked from sw Oh, we are submerged. What's happening? Are we taking damage from this? It looks like we are taking two points of damage every time that flashes. Uh, so we kind of want to be judicious here and intelligent about where we're going, and that's not exactly uh, in my strong suit. Are we out? No, we're halfway in. What is this? It's got no problem. What is this? It's got no problem. What is this? Another one of those? Also, no problem. This dude's just chilling out here eating snakes. What do you have? You got what I need. What is it I need? You got nothing that I need, dude. A combat yo-yo. What is a combat yo-yo? Like a yo-yo lined with spikes? Terrifying. There's a businessman. Hey, 
How are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to this small rural village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. Well, I'm a tough businessman, yes sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's see A. What, what do you have? Diamond Band. None of these are flashing like they're good for us, but I feel like the Diamond Band would be strong. I don't know. Doctor's hiding in the trees. I don't feel it's necessary for us to talk. Fine. I see how it is. Uh, what's up, dude? It's really dark here in the deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? You don't have the Hawkeye here. You're helpless. I see. So, yeah, if we didn't have the Hawkeye, we probably wouldn't be able to see at all, and this would be borderline impossible. Thankfully, the game pointed us in the direction of the Hawkeye. I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I can find the mushrooms called Magic Truffles. They're located in the swamp. They can be found by sand. You know, pigs know it would be enough to find those great truffles by Santa alone. Sure they would. Sure they would. This is the deep darkness. When you walk through the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. Fascinating. Well, we will do our best to refrain from setting foot in the swamp as uh, often, or as least often as possible. I heard monkeys living in some desert can teleport. Oh? You learned how to teleport from the monkeys? <gasps> I want to try. Will you tell me how to do it? Yes. Okay. We'll try it. Oh my god. He, he nearly did it. He nearly did it. I'll never give up. I want to try again. This chimp is astounding. Do it, buddy. Do it. And off he goes, never to be seen again. <laughs> nope, there he is. What did you learn? Well, I did it. Did you see me? Well, that's awesome. Here's a small gift to thank you. Wait. I want some monkey's love. <laughs> Only a monkey can show you that kind of love and tenderness. Let's get rid of... Oh, giblets. What are we even going to get rid of? I want everything here. Let's go sell something. All right, now that we've acquired the monkey's love, let's see what this is. What did you give us, Chim Chim? A gift from a monkey can be used during battle. Extraordinarily vague. No idea. Okay, well, we'll be using that in some battle, potentially, if I, there's a mole. Oh, well, we can battle it and kill it immediately. And it was very weak. I'm so sorry. Well... Can we continue south? Is that a thing? It is a thing. We really should have considered bringing, like, snorkels or something. Let's grab this. A banana? Oh, I don't want the banana. That's fine. But maybe we freaking need the banana, huh? We're surrounded by chimps. Um, goodness gracious, let's get rid of the sudden gut spill. Yeah, that's, that's not something that I feel great about, but hey, it's like a one-time use sort of thing. Eh, I don't know. I just got to make myself feel better about it. Can we? No, we can't. Where are we going? Where are we going? We can't go that way. What's, what's the meaning of this? Do we have to go this way? Because we kind of got on the darkness here. Yes. And we can, even though we have the Hawkeye, we cannot see. Shh, be quiet. Draw cash, I'll charge you in with me. It's the same amount as your withdrawal. Uh, no. Don't want any money. No thanks. Uh, golly gee williker. Uh, can we, do we have to use the Hawkeye? To see? Help you use the Hawkeye. Okay. Now it illuminates. I was concerned for a moment there. <laughs> I was like, it's not illuminating. It's not illuminating. There's a giant tree. Come and get me, Poopy. What do you want? The hostile elder oak. Hostile, you say. Well, I'm pretty hostile as well. How do you feel about fire? Can't imagine you feel too great with it. Boom. Probably not enough. Yeah. Meh. PSI magnet? What kind of tree is this? You're trying to suck the pee pee of the bear, and the bear ain't got no pee pee for you. All right, you're gonna have a net gain of zero PP, you tree. And goodness, it. Oh, no, 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 none of that. <laughs> none of that. 
That was disastrous. It's got a lot of HP. A decent amount of experience is gained off of it, too. And I hate how they freaking explode. But at least it's dealt with. Uh, maybe I will take greater care to avoid those trees going forward. But I do need the XP, right? Like, I don't... Mm, it's always a tough sort of balancing act. There's something hiding over there to the left. It's coming after us. It's a freaking gator. The hard crocodile. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, man? I'm gonna toss some eggs on the floor and have you go away. Maybe you're susceptible to thunder, huh? Let's see what we're at here. Didn't hit anyone. Okay. Wait, it did. What does that mean? It did, but it didn't. Interesting. Maybe you get two rolls of the die, so to speak. Goodness freaking gracious. Hard is accurate. Let's go before the rolling counter kills her. Goodness gracious. And let's use life up immediately. I'll uh, use B on Pongo. That max her out, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if this is the right way to go. It seems like it's the only way to go. There's a present up here. Hopefully we'll be rewarded for our efforts. Not rewarded with a, a crocodile, actually. There's a beef jerky. Mmm, delicious. You know, if there's one thing that I just love to see in a swamp, it's a nice fat slab of cured meats. Not suspicious at all, is it? <laughs> uh, in, in the driest place imaginable, yeah? A swamp? What is this? There's a helicopter. And a present. The present first, then the helicopter. Couple life noodles. That is good to have. All right, fix this, Farku. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed there's no engine. Ah, okay, okay. I guess we're gonna have to, to tally fo to Sally Ho and find a engine. I guess we'll bridge that cross when we come to it, right? You know what I'm saying? Engine. No engine. There's no engines here. But there is land. And insects. Great. Step on them. What are they? They pit bull slug. Goodness, if that doesn't sound intimidating, I don't know what does. <laughs> uh, we'll kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Very nice. Okay, they're not all that strong. They have barely over like 300 HP. Good to know. Yep, they should kill them all. Beautiful. They have less than 300 HP. It's probably something like 275. Cool. Uh, man. Ooh, what is that? The big hideous flower. We could go north or we could go west and fight this flower. I'm gonna do that. I wanna battle the flower. Help you open the present. There's a souvenir coin. What is that? Uh, let's... What does the beef jerky do? It probably restores HP, right? As most food items do. Oh, it's a recipe. Obtain some some type of meat, slice it in pieces about a half an inch thick, hang the pieces on a laundry line or something like it, and leave it in the sun for maybe six months. That's what my recipe says when eating. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was long. Uh, so it is a healing item, 150 HP. That's more than we need right now. So let's just use a PSI caramel. How much is that? 20 PP? Yeah. Use that on LP. Perfect. It said about 20. It gave us 21. That's nice. Pongo got the coin. What is this good for? Must be equipped as other, increases defense and luck. So what would happen if Pongo equipped that? Wow. Well, only Pongo can use the talisman ribbon, so maybe we should give a souvenir coin to someone else, right? Does anyone have any open slots? Of course not, because we just did the inventory management to open up the one spot. Shamalama Ding Dong. Oh, I don't love it, but I got rid of the secret herb just because that's like the only thing I really could right now. I mean, I guess I could have got rid of the banana, but I feel like I need the banana. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm wrong like six, seven times an episode. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, Farku, you get this coin. Beautiful. Now let's go fight this freaking flower. What's up, baby? Oh, we got this. We got the freaking scoop on him, too. The demonic petunia. Demonic, indeed. Throw eggs at it. 
it's, if there's one thing that stinky flowers like this hate, it's eggs. They compete for the stinkiest of, uh, of stinks. And you know what? Let's... Never mind. What did I just do? I was going to use the multi-bottle rocket, but I must have hit something else entirely. I guess we'll see. What is Farku going to do? Doesn't matter. It's dead before Farku's turn. I thought that was going to be like a big boss or something. That was just like a normal enemy. And here I was all scared and paralyzing for it. And it wasn't even a thing. And it looks like that path just came right back around over here anyways. Which is a dead end. Which is, can we go to the right? Yes, we can. And I'm also recognizing this. I think at the beginning of Earthbound, like uh, before you hit start, right? And start playing the game itself, it'll run scenes from the game. And I think this is one of them, like walking through the swamp. I don't know for certain. So don't, you know, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Pongo, you can use your fire. Do it again. It's fine. And Farku, just shoot it. That fire works very well on the demonic petunia. A dispensed, a disgusting blast. No, 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 dude. Go, 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 go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> wow. That was terrible. Uh, safe to say those flowers are exceedingly dangerous. Um, we should dispense of them as quickly as possible. Help you open the present. There's a rock candy. Pongo takes it. What does the rock candy do again? I don't remember. We do have a couple of them. Rock candy. When you eat this, it'll increase. Oh, shoot. Eat that. Use it on LP. Got IQ. Eh, not ideal. And then Pongo, you use the rock candy on yourself. IQ. Eh, not ideal. But it's fine. It's, it's something. And we're going to eat some food here. Picnic lunch. 80 HP. Yeah, Pongo's going to have herself a nice little picnic right here. And I think we're actually just going to use Life Up on Farku and on LP, and then we'll be fine. Now let's continue back into the disgusting swamp, going God knows where, hopefully to some other shiny spot. I'd have to imagine that that's the case. We're still missing a couple. It's kind of a narrow pathway here. Can we even get through this? We can, and look at that. There's a hideous demon right there. Let's go say hi. Hello. You may have forgotten that <laughs> I'm the return of death. I fought you before. Hey you, don't you remember my ripe odor? Belt has trained more and has returned much stronger. <laughs> Burp has also changed his name to Puke. <laughs> Drown the death in Puke. Don't you think that's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Uh, is 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 disgusting? Are, are disgusting things correlated with masculinity? I must have missed that class. Uh, <laughs> let's throw out all the big guns on this hideous beast, including the multi-bottle rocket. You know, let's just use the big one first, just to free up a space. Since we already know that, it, that it's good, right? We know that it does good things for us, and I don't know if the multi will be uh, as strong as the big bottle. 574, pretty solid. We'll see how much the multi is next. Uh, eggs, PSI, fire, or freeze, actually. I should have done freeze, because freeze is the strong on the one. And then over here, multi-bottle rocket master barf. How does this plan out for us, Cotton? Beautiful. Tingle swooped down from the sky. Tingle used his new power, PSI Starstorm. What? <laughs> from the top rope with the final kill. Well done, Tingle. That was a welcome surprise, and we only missed you for two episodes. Delicious, 31K. Inside the present, there's a Casey bat. Pongo took it. Leveling up LP, getting six to offense. That was good. Uh, PP by five, very good. Farku leveled up as well. It's also good. Tingle leveled up as well. Look at that. He's, he's coming in out of nowhere and leveling up. 
do we get to talk to you? No, he's just like, hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> okay, well let's do some some trading real quick. Uh, who has it? Is it is it Pongo? Pongo has the KC bat. So LP, you give this to anyone. It doesn't matter. Just open up an inventory spot. Pongo, give the KC bat to LP. Is K is that like a play on something? I don't really know anything about baseball. <laughs> is KC a player? Uh, LP can equip this weapon. You can't help but swing the bat with all your mind. There's a good chance that you may just whiff. Okay. So it seems that maybe this bat has like a higher critical, but also like a lower accuracy. I could be just reading into that description too much, but that's what it sounds like. And my giblets, is it strong? Look at that. That's an increase of what, 65? Or excuse me, no, that's an increase of 71. Wow. Well... We'll see what it does for us. How are we on how are we on HP before we go too much further? And eh, we're fine. We're fine. Do we get a, a shiny spot or something? Because that Mr. Belch there seemed to be uh like a boss, right? Like a guardian. Maybe I'm just being wishful. Maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. But typically when we have to battle someone all, you know, aggressive and strong like that, we usually get rewarded with like a major plot point advancement. Or something. <laughs> oh, no, no such luck, at least yet. There was some stuff back down south, but I don't think we could get into it because it was on the other side of the trees. So we'll continue north, northwest, maybe. Anything, anything shiny. And I guess, uh, I guess the shiny spot guardians are also like shiny spots themselves right like their their little sprite on the overworld is not like master belch's was oh god there's some insects that's nice i'm gonna go up here and not yet go in the cavern i just want to see if i can despawn you guys i could perfect <laughs> dips and tricks with lp uh okay well there's nothing else Ooh, i want that give me this i need some relaxation very good thank you Exactly what we need after rolling around with a vomit monster is to uh, relax a little bit because that'll stress anyone out. What is this? What are you? Are you friends? We're shy. We're shy. It would seem that they might be. What is this? Weird junk. Uh, is there an engine here? <laughs> They'll be dug around the trash can. Let's see here. There is a death ray inside. My god. What a thing to find in the trash. Uh, there's a phone. Perfect. It's a good idea to save. I was actually thinking that it had been a hot minute since we have saved. And there's obviously going to be plenty of things for us to get into. What What is this, this place? Who are these little cuties? What do they want? What do they eat? Probably mushrooms. I don't know, but we'll find out for certain next time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.